In this video, we're continuing on with the multi-step special right triangles problems worksheet on the CUDA software website. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access this free geometry worksheet. Picking up with number 12, we have to remember our ratios for 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. For 30, 60, 90, that's 1 to the square root of 3 to 2. For 45, 45, 90, it's 1 to 1 to the square root of 2. So in this first problem, 9 times the square root of 6 is directly across from 60 degrees. So that will represent the square root of 3 times y. And directly across from 30 degrees is y. So knowing that the square root of 3 times y equals 9 times the square root of 6, what I'll do, I'll divide by the square root of 3 on both sides to get that y is equal to 9 times the square root of 6 over the square root of 3, which is 9 times the square root of 2. Since the square root of 6 divided by the square root of 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and that's within the radical. So 9 times the square root of 2 is y. So this side length is 9 times the square root of 2. Now in this next triangle, 60 degrees is across from our y value, and x is across from 90. Let's use a as the variable for these ratios. So x represents 2a, and y will represent the square root of 3 times a. And we have that y is 9 times the square root of 2. I'll plug in my y in terms of a. So y equal to 9 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 3 times a equals 9 times the square root of 2. And then I'll divide by the square root of 3 to get a. So a is equal to 9 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 3. So in order to simplify, I'll need to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3, multiplying by 1. So it'll be 9 times the square root of 6 over square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is 3. So a we can simplify as 3 times the square root of 6, since 9 divided by 3 is 3, and we're multiplying that by the square root of 6. Now we'll be able to solve for x, since x is equal to 2a, and a is 3 times the square root of 6, we'll get that x is equal to 2 times 3, which is 6, times the square root of 6. So x is 6 times the square root of 6 in number 12. In number 13, we have two 30, 60, 90s. Across from 60 is the square root of 3, and we'll make this the square root of 3 y. And across from 90 is 2y. So if 2y equals 10, dividing both sides by 2, we'll get that y is equal to 5. So this length is 5 times the square root of 3. So across from 60, again, that's our term with the square root of 3. So this will be the square root of 3 times a. And across from 90, we know is 2a. So 2a is equal to the square root of 3y, which is equal to 5 times the square root of 3. So if 2a equals 5 times the square root of 3, if I divide both sides by 2, I'll get that a is equal to 5 times the square root of 3 over 2. Now I'll plug my a value in for a in my equation for x. So x will be equal to the square root of 3 times 5 times the square root of 3 over 2, which x is equal to 5 times 3 over 2, since the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3, and 5 times 3 is 15, so x will equal 15 halves in number 13. In number 14, I have a 30, 60, 90, and then I have a 45, 45, 90. So this side length of this bottom right triangle is going to be congruent to this side length. So solving for the side length that's congruent, which is the hypotenuse of the first triangle, that's directly across from 90 degrees. So this will represent as 2y. And directly across from the 60 degrees is 6, so that will represent the square root of 3 times y. So if 6 equals the square root of 3 times y, dividing by the square root of 3, then my square root of 3 will cancel out, so y will be equal to 6 over the square root of 3. But let's rewrite 6 as 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 over the square root of 3 
equals y. But notice, I can rewrite this 3 in the numerator as 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, since the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. But if I put that over the square root of 3, one of those square roots will cancel out. So I'll get that 2 times the square root of 3 is equal to y. And if this side length is 2y, 2y I can write as 2 times 2 times the square root of 3, which is equal to 4 times the square root of 3. So this side length is 4 times the square root of 3. And it's congruent to this side length, which is also 4 times the square root of 3. However, we're trying to solve for this hypotenuse x. And x is directly across from 90 degrees, and that's in a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this represents the square root of 2 times a, where the side lengths are a and a. So if 4 times the square root of 3, so if a equals 2y, which equals 4 times the square root of 3, then x equals the square root of 2 times 4 times the square root of 3. So x will equal 4 times the square root of 6. Since 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is 4 times the square root of 6. And that's my solution in number 14. In number 15, I have two 30, 60, 90 triangles. I need to find out the length of the side that is used in both triangles. So in the case of my triangle towards the left, that's directly across from 30 degrees. So that can represent y. And directly across from 60 degrees is the square root of 3 times y. So if I divide by the square root of 3 on both sides, I'll get that y is equal to 10. So this side length is 10. And in this triangle on the right, x is directly across from 30 degrees. So I'll use x as my variable within my ratios. So x is equal to x. And across from 60 degrees, I'll have the square root of 3 times x. And that length we know is 10. So if 10 equals the square root of 3 times x, since this side we'll write as the square root of 3 times x, then I'll just solve for x. And I'll do that by dividing by the square root of 3. My square root of 3 will cancel out, and I'll be left with x on the right. However, I don't want a radical in the denominator, so I'll multiply by 1. So I'll get 10 times the square root of 3 all over the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is 3. So 10 square root of 3 over 3 is my solution in number 15. And lastly, in this video and on this worksheet, number 16. If you haven't already, here's a friendly reminder to click that subscribe button and like this video. Now, looking at this triangle, the side they share is directly across from 30 degrees. So we'll write that side as 1a, or simply a. Across from 60 degrees, we'll have the square root of 3 times a. And we're solving for x, so let's solve for a and then plug that in to our equation for x. In this other triangle, across from 60 degrees, we have the square root of 3. So this will be the square root of 3, and we'll use the variable y. Across from 90, we have 2, and that will be 2y. So let's solve for y, plug y in for a, solve for a, and then plug a in for x. So dividing both sides by the square root of 3, remember we can rewrite 6 as 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. And if that's over the square root of 3, we can say that y is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. And again, remember we can write that as 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, since 6 equals 2 times 3, which equals 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Now knowing what y is, we'll plug that in for a. a equals 2 times y, so a is equal to 2 times 2 times the square root of 3. So a is 4 times the square root of 3. Now we'll plug a in for x. x equals the square root of 3 times a, so x equals the square root of 3 times 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3, so 4 times 3 is x, so x is equal to 12 in number 16. So 12 is our solution in this last problem. 
If you have any questions or just want to leave me a note, put it in the comments below. And as always, like, subscribe, and share.